It's been three years since Windows 11 came out, and although many people have not upgraded, Microsoft is saying that on October 14th, 2025, they are retiring Windows 10. It will be over. So what are your options once it retires? Well, you can try upgrading your computer to Windows 11, and if it has new enough hardware, Microsoft will let you do that. Or you can buy a new computer with Windows 11 on it, or you can try to ride it out and keep using it with no support. If I have to be honest, that is not secure. Microsoft will not fix serious security bugs, and there are serious security bugs. So why doesn't everyone just update to Windows 11? So I'll be honest, I'm using Windows 11 on my Windows computers. I like it, but the complaints are valid. Number one, the telemetry. It sends information back to Microsoft. It's supposed to be stats to improve your experience. Number two, Microsoft put ads in the start menu. You can turn them off, but you have to go find the settings and turn it off. It really is obnoxious. Number three is that Microsoft works really hard to force you to make a microsoft.com account instead of just an account on your computer. They really, really want you to use OneDrive and cloud storage. And that's why they're forcing it. Then number four, which is probably least important, but oddest, is that they broke the start button. Are there any security or privacy issues other than the telemetry with Windows 11? So I think Microsoft is, in fact, working hard to make Windows 11 safer, especially from other companies. Mm-hmm. Make sure that other people besides them aren't spying on you. Although, of course, their track record is so far from perfect. They had that recall disaster where they were playing with adding to Windows 11 that it was saving screenshots and every bit of text you ever saw on your computer, including passwords and things, into an unencrypted file in your home directory that any app running as you could pull all the text out and send it anywhere. I mean, just a complete privacy and security disaster. And they they finally took it down. They're rethinking it. But hard to trust the judgment of <laughs> anyone who thought that was a good idea. Well, what I heard, they didn't they didn't take it down. They just made it opt in. It was going to be opt out before. You know. I think they finally backed down further than that. So are there other reasons people don't upgrade? Well, yeah. So Windows 11, they set these high hardware standards and they're not letting a lot of computers upgrade. So, you know, Microsoft's answer is, well, it's time to buy new PCs, but, but machines are working fine. People want to keep using them. We can't keep dumping machines that work perfectly well every couple of years. How does that differ from what Apple does with OSs. Right, so what Apple does is a little different, right? They're doing operating system releases every year and they support every Mac they have made for usually the last seven years. I know lots of people will put it off for a year or two, but yeah, something like 80% of people are no more than one version behind on Mac OS. You know, they're not charging any money for the upgrade. They really expect you to upgrade to get the latest thing. For Microsoft, of course, a little different because they're not the ones actually selling these PCs. So they don't really have that ability to draw a strict line of we support everything made in the last seven years the way Apple does. Why do they even retire the OS? It actually does cost Microsoft real money to support an older operating system. Here at Speedify, I mean, we're a smaller company. We're only about 30 people. And we still have one full-time developer at any given time just dealing with other company software updates that we have to handle, right? A new version of Ubuntu, a new version of Windows, new rules in the App Store. So we support releases for two years. And that makes sure that everybody is, you know, staying at least close up to date. If everyone upgraded to Windows 11 back when it came out, would they have been safe from the CrowdStrike crash? No, sorry, actually, wouldn't have helped at all. If everyone (laughs) upgraded to Windows 3.1, they would have been safe forever. That's right. (laughs) Hit that subscribe button if you want more technical discussions like this.